talent is not enough. What if we look at our natural abilities and focus on turning them into strength? All too often we are taught to work on our weaknesses and so to close the gap between our weaknesses and our strength for improvement. For you see, I love singing, but I am rubbish at it. Because one, I don't have you know, the great voice of a singer. And secondly, I even cannot remember the word even if I try so hard and even if I listen to this so many times. Why? Because I don't have that natural talent, that natural ability that a singer could, should have. I join a choir and we practice every day and I love it. But nothing is helping me. I'm still struggling. Or you may say that, you know, because I decided that singing is not, I'm not good at it, that's what I'm not improving. You might be right. But also we both know that no one is good at everything. So no matter how much we would like to be good at everything, or how much knowledge we gain, there is a certain thing that we will never be our strength. And singing, it is not my strength. is inspiring and motivating and helping people. Probably ask you to be in, in, two, in two groups. Sh shall we do just right in the middle here? So what is strength? The strength is a combination of our natural talent, knowledge and skills, but apply over time. Let's not confuse strength and talent. Strength is not simply a talent alone. If we do not nurture and practice our talent, then we cannot realize our true potential. So the mix of talent, knowledge, skill, and practice is what creates the strength. Please, you know, like this video, I mean, to show appreciation. And you completely change my mind of how important the system is and how important even to recognize that and also, we didn't give you enough information. And we didn't ask you why you share. We just put you on the spot and asked you just to share. Mostly at work, we receive feedback about our weaknesses. And then, you know, the performance reviews will focus the development plan on areas that need most improvement. Yeah, these mean weaknesses. But the problem occurs when this is our only focus. Just think of people like Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg. Do you think their successes is about them focusing on addressing their weaknesses or building on their strengths? Of course, it is building on their strengths. When we focus our strengths and apply them regularly in our life, we can reach greater levels of achievement and personal fulfillment. The challenge then is knowing our strengths. So we can spend our time working with our strengths and build them up. How many should I give to each one? Um, I think one, one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, if they need more to do, come take it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this quick exercise to identify our son. Take a paper and pen and write this reflective question down because that will help you. One, what do I like about myself? Two, what do I enjoy doing? Three, what thing do I do easily or naturally that seems difficult for other people? Four, what areas at work do I get my best result? Five, what do people always ask me to have them with? Six, what thing do I do that makes me feel most engaged and energized? Seven, what thing do I do differently than others that make me stand out? Oh, the easy one is you can ask feedback from family members, friends, colleagues about what they recognize as your key strengths. The quicker you are able to identify your strengths, the quicker you'll be able to achieve more. Do you like this content? If so, why not subscribe to my channel now and also press the notification bell next week so you get more of them. So turning our talent into strengths. People that you know and you admire or you say, wow, I want to be like this person or that person. Those people are extremely accomplished because of their ability to maximize on the strengths. When you stop focusing on your weaknesses and identify your strengths, your next step is to focus on elevating and expanding on your strengths. And to maximize your strengths, you will need to look at this step as a running marathon, but sprinting. You will not be perfect, but what you want to see is a steady progress. And once you know your strength, you can harness and apply them in your personal life, in your career, and in your relationship with other people. The knowledge of your strength is not enough to transform your life. You need to act. And before you take action, it is worth considering the impact of your strengths on your life and how you want to use this information moving forward. Here is another exercise for you to help you better understand and utilize your strengths. One, what stands out to you about your strengths? Two, which of your strengths do you most want to show the world? Three, how will this knowledge of your strengths help you in your life, in your career, and in your relationship with other people? Unless we are willing to act, we cannot realize the true benefit of this increased knowledge about ourselves. Action inspires confidence. It builds our skill. It helps us in turning our talent into strength. So decide to act. Put a plan in place. Then see it through. You could think about what action you take over the next month. You know, write them down. Then commit to doing them. Then take time after a month to reflect on how you have performed as a result of this increased focus on your strengths. Observe the difference in your feeling of accomplishment and ease you have experienced by applying a strength mindset. You know another way to realize the full benefit of understanding your strength is to share with the world. 
put others. However, it is not just about telling others what you are good at or bragging about your strengths. The idea here is to also understand what others' strengths are and work out how you can work better together as a result of that. When we know ourselves, we can live life confidently. Focusing on our strengths rather than our weaknesses can bring us greater satisfaction in our life. We may also find that what we pursue becomes simpler as we have a natural ability that we can apply now. We can also realize greater dreams for our future and work toward living to our full potential. So, do you know your strengths? Where do you plan on starting or strengthening your strength? I want to hear from you. Please use the comment box below and share with us how you plan to strengthen your strength. For me, it's always to wish you enough. Enough of knowledge, enough of wisdom, enough of discovering your full potential so that you can live life confidently and fulfill your full potential. I am really looking forward to our next video so that I can bring you more knowledge, more tips, so you can improve in your life. Thank you for watching and bye for now.